Molecular kinetic theory and the ideal gas law help us explain the macroscopic properties of a gas by zooming in to consider the microscopic behavior of gas particles. In order to apply the ideal gas law to a gas, the gas needs to be treated as an ideal gas and not a real gas. There are four main assumptions that we need to make when considering a gas as ideal before it can obey the gas law. First, the total volume of the individual molecules is negligible compared to the volume that the gas occupies. This is so that we can consider each molecule as a point particle. The second assumption is that there are no intermolecular forces between molecules. The only form of internal energy each molecule has is kinetic energy. This is related to the next assumption. The pressure within the gas is due to collisions between particles and the container walls. So the third assumption is that the duration of collision is negligible compared to the time between collisions. If the time of contact is not minimal, then the intermolecular force will not be negligible, violating the second assumption. Finally, the fourth assumption, particles undergo perfectly elastic collisions. This is so that no energy is lost during the collisions. Here's a quick summary of all the assumptions. First, volume of individual particles is negligible. Second, there is no intermolecular force between particles. Third, the duration of collision is negligible. Number four, all of the collisions are elastic. Here you have the four main assumptions of kinetic theory and the gas law. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe for more physics.